Hello everyone and welcome to Dress My Craft. This is design team member Jeshri this side. In this video I will share a process tutorial on how to alter a box and convert it into a baby keepsake box. But before we dive into the tutorial please do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us again. To begin with I have taken a small MDF box which I have painted with an off white color chalk paint. I will be using Dress My Crafts Little Miracle 12 by 12 pattern paper for this project. This pattern paper is a neutral paper dedicated for babies. One can make both baby girl and boy projects with this pattern paper. As always, this pattern paper comes in both sizes 12 by 12 and 6 by 6 along with a pack of motif sheet and also a pack of die cuts. The last design in this pattern paper is dedicated to baby's milestones note cards. For my box, I have chosen these two designs. I am going to use the alphabet design on the four sides of the box. I am going to now cut this pattern paper according to the size of my box using Dress My Crafts paper trimmer. This paper trimmer has anti-slippery pads behind it which helps in preventing it to move from its place while I am trimming my paper. For more details about this trimmer, do check out our previous video, the link to which is given in the description box below. Once I have cut all the sizes from both the design papers, I am now going to distress the edges of the papers which will go on the lid of the box. Next, I am inking the edges of all the paper cutouts using Distress Oxide ink in the color Walnut Stain. Now, I am adhering all the papers in their places using glue. Once all the sides are done, I have adhered two layers of both the design papers on top of the lid of the box. Next, I am applying a coat of clear gesso on the design paper. Once dried, I am using Dress My Crafts Thumb Print Design Mixed Media Stencil to add some texture on the box. I am randomly adding numbers with the help of some crackle texture paste. Now that the crackle texture paste has dried out, I am smooshing some Distress Oxide color fossilized amber on my thick non-stick craft mat from Dress My Craft and spraying some water on it to activate the color. Now using a water brush pen, I am simply adding the color on the stenciled numbers. I am adding some more water on the paper itself and dabbing off the extra water with the help of a tissue. Next I have here with me the pack of Little Miracles die cuts with which I am going to embellish the lid of the box. Do hit the thumbs up button below the video if you are liking this tutorial as it helps us to know which kind of videos you like more and we try to make more such videos. 
Now I am simply adhering my chosen die cut embellishments using Dress My Crafts 3D foam tape in 12 mm size. I am also using Dress My Crafts Foliage and Leaves number 6 die set for adding some foliage behind the mulberry flowers that I am adhering on the lid. I am also using some crystal fillers and a bunch of pollens to embellish the lid. Last but not the least, I am adhering some crystal clear sequins from Dress My Craft here and there to add more interest. Here is the final look of the box. I hope you liked this cute little altered box and are inspired to make your own using Trust My Crafts Little Miracle Pattern Paper. Do tag us in your creations on Instagram. We love to see them. Also, do give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us again. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.